everybody! I'm Miss Kimmy! Welcome to the Anaheim Public Library's virtual STEAM program, Banding Together, where math and art come together. Now, friends, today we're going to learn a little bit about geometry and what that is and how you can create a piece of art using geometry. If you guys are ready, sit tight. We're going to go through some really great things today and I'm going to show you how to make this really neat piece of art using a few simple things included in the art kit. Here we go. Before we get started, what is geometry? Well, I believe it is the part of mathematics where you study the shape and position and dimension of things. Hmm, maybe we should learn a few words before we study some of our shapes today. Well, our first word is equal. Equal is when sides are the exact same length. A square has four equal sides, and we can count them together. There's one, two, three, and four. So keep that in mind. If we're looking at a shape, we want to know, does it have equal sides? The next thing we want to learn is about vertices. A vertice is a point where two or more straight lines meet. Triangle has how many? Three vertices. Where these two lines connect, there's one vertice. There's two lines here, another vertice. And these two lines here create another vertice. And the last thing we want to know is what a side is. The outside line segment of a shape is what we call a side. A pentagon has one, two, three, four, five sides. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should check out a couple different shapes that I have here and see if some of our shapes have all of those things, some of those things, or none of those things. Here I have a shape we all know. What is this, everybody? A circle. That's right. Now, does a circle have a side to it? The outside line segment of a shape? Maybe it has a side. Not a straight side, but a curved side. Does it have any vertices? Hmm, I don't believe it has a vertice that we can see here. Maybe it does. We'll have to think about that one some more. And does it have an equal sign? I don't think it has an equal sign. Maybe we should explore some more shapes. I've got a triangle here. We've got a triangle with one, two, three sides. And again, three vertices. And it looks like the sides are pretty equal. If we look at a square, a square has our four sides and our four vertices, and it looks like they're pretty equal to me. But what happens when we look at a rectangle? Is a rectangle a shape with four equal sides? No. A rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four vertices, but it's got two sides that are long and two sides that are shorter, making it a rectangle. Now there's lots more shapes. We've got shapes where there are five sides and six sides. We've got our pentagon with five sides. We've got our hexagon with six sides. We've even got an octagon with eight sides. Hmm, can you think of how many vertices it has if it has eight sides to it? That's something to think about as you create your art later on. Now, another part of geometry is looking at where the shapes sit next to each other. In our everyday lives, we see shapes make up lots of different objects. If I were to take a square and add on four triangles, I make this kind of shape. But I can transform this into a pyramid just like that and create a totally different shape using our square and our triangles. So friends, keep that in mind. A pyramid is made up of four triangles and a square base. What other shapes can we make into a 3D shape using our flat shapes? Why, if you were to take squares, I've got one square, two squares, three squares, four squares, five squares, six squares here. If I were to take these six squares and put them together, I make a shape called, what's that? 
a cube. That's right. You can make a 3D cube by taking six squares and putting them together just like that. It forms a box. We see boxes all the time, right? That's part of geometry, looking at how shapes come together. And of course, what kind of shape could we possibly make with two circles and a rectangle? Hmm, let's see. If I were to bend my rectangle and push my circles down, I think I could make a cylinder. A cylinder is a much rounder shape because of the way the rectangle curves around the circle base. That's geometry, did you know that? Just by taking two circles and a rectangle, they come together and make a wonderful cylinder. And we can find cylinders in everyday life. Why, when we use up our paper towel rolls, what do we have? We have a cylinder, just like that. Now that we've learned a little bit about what geometry is and about all the different shapes that we see in our lives, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our art project today, where we'll take a look at what kind of math is involved in creating this. All right, everybody, for this art project today, you're going to need your styrofoam square. I've got a nice square of styrofoam here ready to go for me. You'll need a template that'll help you guide where you're toothpicks will go. You'll need your toothpicks. I've got toothpicks here that are pointy on this end and not pointy on the other. That's important for your safety because as you do your art, you don't want to get pricked by the pointy part. And then we've got some loom bands. These are tiny colorful rubber bands that are pretty stretchy and will help create our art today. From your template, you're going to choose one picture. The first picture is of a star. The second picture is of a flower, so depending on which project you want, you're going to choose one and cut it out. If you want to do both, you can do that, and I'll tell you how to do that once we finish one. So let me go and take out the star template. With the star template, I'm going to put it right on top of my square, just like that. And in the middle is going to be a dot. That's going to be where your first toothpick will go. We'll put our toothpick straight in as far as you can get it to go into your styrofoam. That's why you want to put this styrofoam block on a hard surface so that you don't poke through the other side. And that's not something we want. So make sure you get your toothpick in there nice and sturdy. With your other toothpicks, you're going to follow the holes and insert one toothpick per hole right into the styrofoam. And once you've done that, we're going to go and work on adding our colorful bands to make different geometric shapes and create our artwork with it. So into the styrofoam the sticks goes very carefully. They are pointy at the tip, so please be very careful. Into there. And then a few more to go and we'll be ready to stretch out our bands. There we go. Once you've got all of your toothpicks inserted into the styrofoam, this is the fun part where you can get creative with the different colors that you have. We're gonna take two toothpicks and pretend they are our points. With our rubber band, we're gonna create a line between these two points. Oh, just like that, you've created a line on top of the white paper using the rubber band and the toothpicks. From there, you can go and you can add on more rubber bands as you go throughout here. We'll start with a shape like this. We'll go around and we'll connect all of these toothpicks together with our rubber bands and create almost a five point flower shape. Now, we're gonna go and we're gonna take our rubber bands and we're gonna connect some different points. We're gonna create a diamond shape by going across these two toothpicks. Once we connect these, you've created a diamond shape. Now, a diamond has four sides to it, but are they equal sides? No, I don't think so. How many vertices do you see so far? Let's count them. We've got one, two, three, 
four. Four vertices so far. Why don't we keep going? As we go around the shape, you'll start to see the star forming. I wonder how many vertices will we find on our star? Let's go ahead and finish up our star by taking our rubber band and carefully stretching it across so that it wraps around the base of these toothpicks. Here we go. Oh, look at that. We've created four more diamonds here. Let's do one more diamond to see our final shape. And oh, there it is. You've created a star using rubber bands and toothpicks on your paper. Now, the fun part will be, with your extra rubber bands, you can do more shapes. Let's see, maybe we can create a pentagon in the middle of our star. We'll try experimenting by making a line here, in the middle of our diamond. And we'll try another line in the middle of the next diamond. And we'll go all the way around. How many sides does a pentagon have? Well, I believe it's got five, and so far we've got one, two, three. So let's make a fourth, and it looks like I've got room for a fifth. There we go. You've made a pentagon in the middle of your star shape. Now that we've added a pentagon, we can see that we've got more shapes here. We've got our pentagon in the middle. We've got our diamond shapes, but in the middle, we've got triangles. We've got little triangles throughout here now. Can you count how many different shapes you can see just looking at your star? Now friends, you can do lots of different things with your rubber bands and if you'd like, the best way to start over is just to take off your rubber bands real carefully and you can play around by stretching them out across different points. If you cross them here, you make a straight line and you make a different kind of triangle across the diamond. Oh my goodness, look at all the different ways you can do this. So, experiment with your shape, boys and girls, and come up with different ways to make different geometric shapes. Now, if you wanted to try making the flower, all you have to do is remove your rubber bands first, very carefully, and remove the toothpicks and start fresh with your styrofoam board. With your styrofoam board, you can go ahead and place the template on top once it's clear, and again, you'll add your toothpicks onto the template and wrap your rubber bands to form the different shapes that'll make your new piece of art. Thanks for joining me today in our wonderful virtual STEAM program, Banding Together, the cross point between math and art, where we learn that we can combine geometry and art together in one sitting and create something absolutely beautiful. Be sure to tune in to our Facebook and our Instagram for more virtual programs for kids teens and adults and more STEAM programs and of course the summer reading program has begun so make sure you sign up online at anaheim.readsquared.com where you get to lock your books and activities just like today's and you can earn prizes for participating. Until next time, goodbye everybody and thanks again for watching.